There seems to be an entirely new quest for us to do right now, which is collect all the focus stones. I am really curious what's over here, and I wonder if in the entire game there's always been this high-pitched noise that, uh, that plays whenever someone's talking, because I've not noticed it until now, and it bothers me. <laughs> but, oh well. There you go. Let's see what's over here. I'm. This is quite deep. I wonder what's going on here. And if I should be here, I probably shouldn't, really, but, you know. When one is on an adventure, one must explore. Look, an ore nugget. I I'm, I'm just got rich from existing mercenary. Oh, what is going on here? There's a lot of ore nuggets in a pile over here. I guess this is why he's the keeper of the ore, but it's so rich in nature that it makes a humming noise. That's how much power. I'm not going to pick up all these ore nuggets. That's going to take forever. <laughs> There's a lot of them. And uh, I haven't really bought much with ore. I'm usually the one... Whoa, what is going on with the ceiling here? That doesn't look quite right <laughs> at all. Um, but yeah, that I haven't really bought much with ore so much as I've just given people stuff. Which uh, they seem to be okay with. So I'm probably just going to keep that one up while pondering why... Or how they got so much ore. I guess they've been getting it from the mine, but... Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. Very interesting, very dark room over here as well. With that omnipresent hum. Oh yeah, my torches are all the way in the bottom, aren't they? Yeah. Oh yeah, I found a torch outside the camp as well. Although I guess it's probably the one I just lit at some point. Another one of the very exciting things that happened while I was playing. Oh, now it got part of my torch pile. Uh, I guess it wasn't special enough, but I don't know. It, it took up an extra slot of my inventory at first, so I guess it was special in its own way, I guess. It was special in its own way. And I accept that. Now, I am morbidly curious that now that I've improved my bow, if it's actually better. Um... Because the bow has been a bit poop so far for a while now. I guess I should probably increase my dexterity because my dexterity has been left in the dust to say the least. But I kind of needed strength a lot more because then I could use this weapon. And yeah. Oh yeah, I need to talk to uh, the potion master. Hey, you smart decision. You're not the potion master, are you? No. I think this was the potion master. Uh, hello. Riorian. Satyrus sent me. Twenty. Ah, come here. I've already been informed. Here, take these potions. They're potions of all kinds. Now go and bring us the focus stones. These artifacts are our only hope. Twenty of them. Wow. That is pretty crazy. But let's see what we got, actually. Did we get anything cool? Elixir of healing, essence of strength. Strength bonus plus three, holy crap. Give me that. That is actually quite a good potion. Do I have more of those? Allows the player to sprint for two minutes. Uh, Blaze sprint for one minute. Dexterity bonus, thank you. That's very nice. That is very nice to get for free just now. And I have some stuff over here, but I already had all of that really. And that's cool. Where are my writings? Why does that guy keep catching fire? What is he doing? He needs to s right. Okay. Um. So I got the one from the swamp camp, which is presumably the one far to the right. Actually, I picked it up farther to the right as well. So, like that, pretty much has to be it. And I think that one is really close to the camp, so I should be able to get that one. Oh, I can actually see. What if I press M now? It doesn't show it. Ah, that's unfortunate. But I can see where I am on the map when I use it, so that's actually really convenient. So I think the closest one is the one to like the bottom right from here. So I think that will be my first goal. As it seems that that would be the quickest one to get. Who are you? You look different. No, you're a mercenary. You're all mercenaries in this in this house. You're all mercs. You're all mercs. But that's fine. So, yeah. We got ourselves some new duty. We have a new plan of action. 
And that plan of action is to get ourselves stuff. Focus stones of some description. I jumped and the bouncer was okay with that. Senyan, how are you doing? Haven't talked to you in quite some time as well. Haven't been in this place for a really long time, actually. I just want to talk I to you. I just want to talk to you. I'm not here to talk. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'm glad. Uh, you're very helpful. Uh, yeah. Well, how's the mine going on? We've done most of it. Just a few more weeks and we'll have enough. I don't have weeks to spare. I'm gonna just... Uh, I'll just make it go a bit quicker by getting those focus stones then. Like, I have this faint hope that maybe if we just mined a little bit more, we could just do it in the same amount of time, but I guess not. Which is a shame, really. It would be nice, but... Sometimes you can't get what you want, and this is one of those times, and as such, we are just gonna go on our own little... little voyage... to the bottom right. I believe it was in the little, like, circly area over there. Yeah, so that's pretty much just in this direction right here. I vaguely remember going up here a really long time ago, and there were snappers, and the, like, the dinosaur things, and I remember snappers not being very nice back then, and I just kind of died, but I've been able to fight off some of the snappers so far, so I'm kind of hoping that I'll have the same luck, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's an it's in this mountain path, and that, that I guess that does kind of explain why the more strong enemies were here because I guess they want you to not get the focus stones way early in the game. I'm kind of curious if that's actually possible though, unless they're in their own little alcoves and stuff. Like there's the snappers already, and I guess you can technically walk past them, but it would be kind of tricky. Uh, my dexterity is still kind of low, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Whoa, I am dealing a little bit more damage now, I think. Uh, I wonder if my range increased, actually, from... Oh, no, 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 no. Die. Running. Because snappers still deal a fair bit of damage. But so do I. Please. No, switch. Target. Ugh. God, every every battle against anything in this game is a terrifying experience. Especially dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs, they they are just not made to have a good time with. They are made to have a painful experience that will last you a lifetime. And it startles me. It startles me greatly, and therefore I am scared afterwards. For that is what startling does to me. Uh, but yeah, we fought off the evil army of four dinosaurs or whatever. It does seem like our bow does a little bit more damage. I th I think the range or something increased, or maybe just the chance to hit or something. Because I was pretty far away. Bloodhound. Well, that's a new one. Did it drop a ring or was that just there to begin with? I'm curious. I should probably actually check what rings I have because I don't... I think I've checked that for a while now. And I have a fair amount of rings right now. I'm just going to do that right now. What do I have equipped? I have plus five dexterity, which I don't know if that's the best thing I can have right now. Plus ten strength, plus ten strength. Protection against stuff, 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 stuff. Life bonus, eh. Dexterity bonus, eh. And more dexterity bonus. Everything's just kind of eh. Wait, was this ring more? Oh yeah, one's a more drags ring and the other is just lesser dexterity. They do the same thing, but one's more expensive because it was owned by the great more drag. And man, he was a swell guy, so why wouldn't he be worth more, right? Everyone loved more drag. Another one of those characters which we haven't seen in so very long because I'm so very bad at playing this game for more than like two days and then stopping for a really long time, but hopefully... It does seem like we're getting to somewhat of a conclusion, like we are getting closer and closer to destroying the barrier. And that's quite nice, I think. And the sleeper thing seems to be expanding a bit as well. People are thinking it's a demon, so... Oh, God, what's going on here? This dude just set everyone on fire. Please don't be an enemy to me. I would really appreciate it if you're a friend. Greetings. My friend Lester from the swamp camp told me about your great deeds there. I am impressed. You've become very strong. I do my best. 
Ah, uh, yes. Always modest, aren't you? Okay. What are you doing here? There is an ancient ring of stone not far from here. In its center lies the entrance to an underground vault. Some sort of tomb? Yes, something like that. There is something in that tomb that I'd like to have. Uh... I'm looking for a focus stone. It must be here somewhere. That almost sounds as if we were both looking for something in the same place. This is not going to go easy, is it? Why don't you go down to the tomb and get what you're looking for? Oh, that's a long story. I'd have to go a long way back to explain. Go ahead. I'm in no hurry. All right. After the creation of the magic barrier which imprisons us all, one of the magicians sealed a magic artifact down there. Is this artifact one of the five focus stones? Exactly. So you already know the story of the five focus stones. Don't tell me you're after the focus stone as well. No, I'm not interested in the focus stone. I'm looking for an orcish talisman. The artifact was sealed away? Yes. A powerful spell protects it. The first grave robber trying to swipe the focus will be cursed and doomed to an existence as a restless undead. We'll have to protect the tomb from other grave robbers. How can you get past that curse? There will be no need for that now. Some years ago, an ore baron out pleasure hunting for orcs was careless enough to enter the tomb. Now he is the guard of the treasures down there. But how do you know it's not gonna affect you then? What about uh. that talisman? I believe its former owner used it to defend himself against angry orcs. If I'm right, the talisman may be of great use. Uh. We should seek out the tomb together. You get the talisman, and I'll have the focus stone. All right, but there is one little problem. A problem? Yes, the guard down there in the tomb. Can't he be cut into handy little pieces? That wouldn't be too easy. He seems to be extremely resistant against the effects of normal weapons. Let me guess, you already got a plan, right? Mm, well, I have a plan, but I can't carry it out on my own. Tell me. I have a spell scroll with a very powerful spell here. The spell will destroy all the undead who fall under it. Then it should be child's play to take out the tomb. Mm, well, not quite. The guard is not on his own any longer. Probably later grave robbers who were no more successful than he was. I went down there once and I was nearly killed. One man on his own cannot do much there. Give me the spell scroll and we'll do it together. Good, very good. I hoped you would say that. However, we only have one spell scroll. Use it for the guard. The other undead can be defeated in normal fights as well. I see. Well, which way leads to the Ring of Stone? Follow me. So, now that we're talking to this guy, it kind of reminds me that I don't think we ever fought a mage before. At all. I, I don't think there's been any magic users at all in our entire adventure, pretty much. And I should probably follow that guy, but there's a cave here and it, it intrigues me. But, yeah, like, I just have this strong suspicion that this is gonna go horribly wrong and that we're going on, we're gonna go on an adventure and he's gonna go, oh, this talisman has made me so powerful, I can take on the world now. I guess I'll kill you now because I'm too strong otherwise and that would be bad and I don't know. Well, it wasn't locked, nice. But yeah, I, d I don't know. I'm getting a strong vibe of this guy's gonna go evil, and he he's just beaming it. He's beaming evil. What the hell is that? That thing is huge. <laughs> uh, this could be interesting. I'm probably gonna die, but it looks really interesting to me, and I kind of want to fight it. What is that? A shadow beast. He does not care. He does not care at all. This is gonna be bad. Really? Oh no! Oh god, this is bad. Ah! Okay. I'm pretty sure I clicked on new game. 
I don't understand why the menu is so horrible for me today. It's just not working out for me. But I am pretty sure I can take this thing on. Like I think I deal enough damage and it's on its own. I don't think there's any other shadow beasts roaming around here at least, so. Oh. Please, attack! Oh, man. That became a lot scarier in the end there than I had anticipated. Are you still... You're dead. Okay. Ah, Shadow Beast. That is a really, really, really quite large enemy, but it was no match for the great me. Hmm, 25 skill points, level 14. Mwah. Pretty terrifying, I would say so myself. Gonna eat an incredibly large amount of grilled meat. Which seems to be the exact same type of meat as any other enemy, including the one in front of me. So I'm just going to basically be eating himself in front of him. Which is not a very nice thing to do. But he had it coming. For he was very large and he killed me once. So now we're even. So I have no idea where the mage is. Uh, I have no idea what that thing is either. Biter. Well, no. <laughs> uh, not interested in a biter today. I'm sorry. I'm more interested in a ring of stones. Oh, I guess I'm, I'm interested in a biter now. Please? Okay. I see. Suddenly, I'm interested in biters because it appears they die in one hit. And I find that very, very nice. And I take that as a reason to say hello to them. Biter! 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 They really do look like texture swaps of scavengers, but what do I know? They changed the sound too, so it can't be the same. That's actually, thinking about it, that's sort of surprising. I don't. <laughs> there's a lot of games where after a while they just start swapping textures of the same model because, you know, it saves time in creating a game. But very rarely do they actually change the sound. <laughs> Because they do look really similar. <laughs> I guess the model is slightly different, but not by much. And they both pretty much drop the same thing as well, so I would assume that their... At least their animation would be probably the same thing, but there you go. That's interesting. Very strange to see something like that done like that. Like that, like that. But now that we're here, we might as well take out the entire town. Might as well. Everything's gotta die. And that's what's gonna happen this day. All the lizards, all the bees, all the blood flies. I'm guessing this is a blood fly. Yes, it is. Not really where I needed to be, but it is, an un it is actually a different way of getting to the same place, which, uh, interesting. This probably actually would have been an easier route to take because it doesn't have those dinosaur people. Snappers, rather, if you want to be technical about it, but I'm going to call them dinosaur people. Lurker. I did a really weird move there. Can I do that again? Hmm. Like, he seems to wait, like, charge up another attack when I do, like, right forward forward. And then he just kind of does this weird thing. Can I do anything else with that? No, I, I don't think I can actually do anything else than just do this weird move, which doesn't really look like it has enough range to hit anything. But what do I know? I still have Minecrawler eggs. Was I not supposed to give those to someone? Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I gave one of them and maybe just kept the others in case I was in dire need of a Minecrawler egg. Because there are times when I feel desperately in need for a Minecrawler egg, after all, so... Very glad that the game kept, kept some in my inventory. Now, I am more and more coming to the conclusion that it probably would have been a good idea to follow Mr. Man Man, who said, Hey, just follow me to the stone circle, but what do I know, right? Oh, wolves. That's adorable. It is nice that they're putting all this free experience on the route here. I mean, quests only give so much, you know? So, the fact that they are going through the effort of giving me all these nice extra little things 
It's very kind of them, I would say. I'm so far away from the original area that this is probably... Like, I'm... Where even am I? What is that noise? Why was someone tripping through the woods right there? And what is that tower? I'm suddenly more interested in everything else in the world than I am in fighting that sorcerer, man. But, oh well. There's people there. Oh, let's see what this tower is then. Maybe this is some sort of interesting structure. Does it have anything? I don't think it actually contains... It, it has a chest in it. Oh, I know where I am. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, cool. And then I guess that is the... That is probably Aiden or Aiden or whatever his name was. In that case, I am not really where I need to be. Well, I think it's quite obvious that I'm not where I need to be because I am so far away from the thing on the map that... It's almost hard to see at this point, so let's go back a bit. Let's go back to where we came from and see if we can't find this place of ours. 